First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clawson. We saw some clouds moving across the Coachella Valley earlier today. Now a bit of clearing blue sky everywhere you look, but up towards the north you can see a bit more activity. Notice that counterclockwise spin that's happening. That's an area of low pressure and it's going to be working its way down the coast as we head through the middle of this week, eventually bringing more changes to those of us right here in Southern California. Now for now we're continuing to talk about a bit of a breeze out there. Some of those gusts already exceeding 30 miles per hour around the Coachella Valley. Certainly not as gusts as it was yesterday, but we are maintaining that onshore flow and that's going to be staying with us not only through tonight, but also into tomorrow and into Thursday as that next system gets closer to us. So let's put our future track into motion through the rest of this evening. Of course, those strongest wind gusts going to be right there through the San Gregonio Pass. Still going to be quite breezy around the valley floor, but again, not as gusty as yesterday, but you are still going to notice the wind. It's not going to be a calm night for us, just not overly gusty but still quite breezy out across the valley floor. Now moving into our Wednesday morning, winds try to tailor back just a little bit, but it's still going to be persistent, especially as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. That onshore flow is expected to strengthen even more, resulting in some gusty conditions once again here in the Coachella Valley. So notice the time frame Wednesday about five o'clock. So the late afternoon as we head into the evening, we'll begin to feel those winds strengthen once again. Stay with us through the night. Now, even though those winds are strengthening a, an advisory or any type of wind alert has not been issued for those of us here in the Coachella Valley. However, they have been issued down south for both Imperial and parts of San Diego County. That's in effect even through Wednesday morning and then another one will be issued into Thursday. So just know that even though there's no alert specific to us, there are wind alerts surrounding us. So if you do have to be out on the roadways, just know certain areas of the desert are going to be experiencing stronger gusts than others. Here's that incoming system, that area of low pressure trying to work its way down the coastline. And as it's doing so, it's picking up some moisture, funneling it into California. And eventually by Wednesday night, we're feeling more of that wind. And then into Thursday, mainly Thursday morning, it is looking to send some showers across Southern California, even a little bit of snow into the upper elevations of our mountains. We could see that snow down to about 6,000 feet, maybe a little bit lower, but not much accumulation lower than that. Still some showers expected, mainly west of the desert. The desert does have the opportunity for a few showers, but what I want to highlight here is that we're really not looking at accumulation here in the Coachella Valley. So it'll be a different story for areas west of here. Heads up, especially if you are an early morning commuter west out of the Coachella Valley, because that's where those showers are going to be. Then as we head throughout our Thursday morning, a little bit more of that wet weather tries to work its way inland as that area of low pressure makes its way off towards the east. So we have the opportunity to see a shower or two, but again, I'm just really not looking at accumulation at this point. Uh, a few drops, not ruling that out. That is looking like a possibility. But then as we head through Thursday night into our Friday, we'll begin to see our skies clear. So our first alert comfort air 70 forecast keeps it quite breezy as we head Wednesday, especially into the evening hours. Notice those temperatures cooling into Thursday as we'll see more cloud cover. Quick opportunity for a shower. Again, not much accumulation. But then as we close out the work week heading into the weekend, John, those temperatures are going to be on the rise, continuing to warm up even as we head into next week. So there is some warmer air headed our way, but in the meantime, incredibly mild for May. Gotta love the 80s. Yes. Thank you, Haley. <laughs>